in high definition. State police in Lackawanna County are looking for help to find a suspect involved in a kidnapping, assault, and robbery case. As Eyewitness News reporter Eric Dable tells us, the crime happened in late February, but charges have just been filed. This is Robert Helbing Jr. of Scranton. The 36 year old is wanted by state police for allegedly kidnapping and assaulting a man that he offered to give a ride to back in February. Mr. Helbing and two accomplices uh, picked up the victim at the Glider Diner in Scranton, uh, promising him a ride to Lock Haven. However, they drove him to Thornhurst Township, uh, where they assaulted him and robbed him. Investigators believe the crime may have been pre planned. When the suspects got near the entrance to Thornhurst Country Club Estates, the three men repeatedly punched the victim, identified as Harry Lee Brame, inside of a vehicle, and then dragged him out of it. Once the victim was on the ground, he was punched and kicked again and left on the side of the road. People living in the area are shocked at the violent crime. Some other areas you might think about it, like Scranton, you always hear little things on the TV about it, but this is a very quiet community here. State police say when the three suspects assaulted the victim right here, they also stole his wallet, his money, his backpack, and his cell phone. All told, those items were worth more than $1,000. State police believe Robert Helbing Jr. is still somewhere in northeastern Pennsylvania. As for the other two men, investigators have not said if they know who they are. At this point in time, uh, we do not have anyone else in custody for the crime, um, and I can't comment on what information we do have about them at this point. Reporting in Thornhurst Township, Lackawanna County, Eric Dable, Eyewitness News. Anyone with information on Robert Helbing's whereabouts is urged to call state police in Dunmore or 911. Now, the victim was treated for serious injuries and has since been released from the hospital.